What's up guys, I'm Caddy here, and today we guys a brand new team building video, where what we're going to be doing is building around Volcanion. Now, if you're excited for this, don't forget to leave a like down below, I would really, really appreciate it. This is a team I've actually already built, I had a really good think about it last night, because obviously Volcanion has just been released. So, I really want to get a really good solid team out for you guys, so you guys can give it a go, give Volcanion a go, and see how it performs. Now... I decided that the Assault Vest set is probably the most optimal set right now, mainly because there's a lot of Volcanians running around already, so you don't want to be locking yourselves into Steamer Eruption, because I know a lot of people are thinking Specs is the way to go. I think this set works better, in my opinion. The ability to switch up moves, while also having a lot of more bulk as well, is really, really nice. So, I'm going for the Assault Vest on this guy, so that allows me to take hits from other Volcanians. I, you know, I can switch into Fire Blast very easily. Steam Eruptions will heal me as well. And I decided the coverage moves that fit best for this guy is Earth Power and Sludge Wave. This is because I found a partner that works really, really well alongside Volcanion that basically handles a lot of the really scary dragon types. So that's really, really useful. So the coverage as well with Sludge Wave allows me to hit fairy types. Now you may be wondering about the speed because obviously the, uh, well, the smoke on set right now is max HP, max special attack, assault vest. I really disagree with that set personally. I think this is a much more optimal set to go for. Mainly because that extra speed investment allows it to break a couple of really important tiers. First of all, it outspeeds Adamant Azumarill, which is absolutely huge. With Belly Drum Azumarill and stuff like that being around, this guy basically becomes a really good answer to it because it outspeeds, so it can hit off the Sludge Wave first and potentially KO. And on top of that as well, Water Absorb means it can't go for the Aqua Jet or anything like that, so you're guaranteed to get all that good damage off. So even if it's a Belly Drum Azumarill, you're absolutely fine, you can come in, you can sludge wave, and you can just absolutely destroy it from there. Moving on as well, the Earth Power allows me to hit the Volcanion. And I do have a slight bit more speed on there as well. Originally I wanted 200 speed, but then I realised how spooky Rotom Wash is for this set. Because obviously it can outspeed every time if it's a defensive set, get the Volt Switch off, and basically Volcanion never gets a chance to get hit in. So, I had to think about it, and I thought this little bit of extra speed investment allows me to beat defensive Rotom Wash... And uh, I, I've added a little bit just to speed creep for any investment and stuff like that. But um, the advantage of that as well is that Sludge Wave does about 30% of the defensive set. So that means that actually if you wear it down by the combination of rocks, if it switches into Steam Eruption, it might get burnt. That sort of thing, like you slowly wear it down. It means that fi the final hit you can get off is going to be doing 30% and could potentially just KO that Rotom. So I think that extra little extra bit of speed investment on top of outspeeding a zoom roll is also really, really nice. We've still got a respectable amount of bulk, especially with the Assault Vest being there as well, so I think it's definitely worth it in my opinion. So, that was my sort of talk about the set. What we're going to talk about is some of the potential teammates I think will fit together to make this, this team a very, very strong one. So, the first one is a really, really strong partner to go with Volcanon, which is Gardevoir. Mega Gardevoir is absolutely great. It allows me to break dragon types, which Volcanion can't touch. It's a really nice wall breaker and breaks a lot of the walls that Volcanion struggles with. Um, I'm definitely going to be running Taunt on this guy because that allows me to then uh, help beat all of the blobs, you know, Chansey and Blissey and stuff like that, which Volcanion also has problems with. So uh, we're going to go for Hyper Voice. On top of that as well, Steel types that can switch into Gardevoir can't switch into Volcanion, and Volcanion can switch into Steel moves very, very easily. So they've got reasonably good type synergy, but offensively really, really nice synergy as well. So we're going to go for Psy Shock, uh, Hyper Voice, and Focus Blast. And then finally, the Taunt. Uh, I think, if I remember rightly, the Smogon set is Max Speed, which definitely makes sense. Uh, I think it's 24 in HP, and then the rest in Special Attack. Um, let me just double check exactly why they say that. Because that is a very interesting spread. Um, at uh, 16 HP, that's it. So, what does the 16 HP allow you to... allow Avoid the 2 KO from a Life Orb, Latios' Psy Shock. Okay, that's pretty good. So, we're going to go for that spread. I think that's definitely worth doing. You only lose a tiny, tiny bit of power. And uh, that extra bonus amount of defense and stuff like that will definitely make the difference for Latios' and stuff like that. So, this is going to be our wall breaker. We do not want the Will-O-Wisp. I, I prefer Taunt on this guy, just because it allows me to beat a lot of the walls and stuff like that that causes issues. So, that's really nice. Another member which works really well, which starts building our Dragon Steel Fairy Core, is Scizor. Because Scizor has a number of advantages. First of all, Scizor has got great type synergy with Volcanion. Uh, any fire moves directed at Scizor, Volcanion just eats up. Uh, it can also switch out in, you know, you can switch into Volcano into water moves and stuff like that, which obviously Sizzle doesn't like as well, you know, Scalds and things like that. So that works really nicely. I do really like the Choice Bandit set on this because this also allows me to trap and kill ghost types as well. 
which is really, really good for us. Especially things like, um, I found Gengar initially was a big uh, problem to the team. So, I feel, um, oh no, it's not that set. Uh, is it further down? Choice band set, that's it. So, we want the choice band set with the, um, let's see. Yeah, with the bullet punch U-turn, the super power, and then finally the pursuit so we can trap things. We can also trap the Latty twins and, and stuff like that as well, which is really, really nice. Pursuit just works really, really well. Superpower allows me to break through chances and things like that, which obviously give Volcanion. And I, I guess to an extent, Guard Ball. Like, as I said, Guard Ball can handle it to an extent with Taunt, but still, there's a chance it might get too worn down by Psy Shocks and stuff like that. The next member that I've got is another one that gives me another fire resist, which is really nice for Sizzle. On top of this as well, obviously Volcanion is very weak to rocks because you don't want to keep switching it in. Obviously, you can get Water Absorb boost, but it's not going to be that reliable. So you kind of want some way to get rid of hazards and stuff like that. And a really great way to finish off our Dragon Fairy Steel Core is Latios. Oh no, Latias, that's it. Latias, because we can go for the Life Orb uh, standard set, which is a... Uh, Draco Meteor, um, Psy Shock, um, and then we, you can either go Healing Wish or Roost. I think Healing Wish for this team is going to work really well. Healing Wish, and then finally the Defog. And we're going to go Max, oh no, it's one, I think it's two, uh, 184, if I remember rightly. Uh, yep, 184. If it's going to let me, I'm just going to type it in because the bar's being stupid. <laughs> uh, 252 in speed with a timid nature and then finally uh the rest in hp so that gives a little bit of bulk it still allows you to uh, to it KO quite a few different things as well with the spread so it's just a little bit more efficient than just having max special attack so that's really nice for us obviously we're going to put zero ivs in here which allows us to uh take less damage from foul plays which is also really really nice so that's what i had so far and then i had to keep thinking about what have I got for a the answer to, say for example, uh, Megazard X? Because Megazard X is really spooky, and at the minute, with EQ and Dragon Claw, it absolutely just 6 0s this team. Has a lot of things that it can set up on. So I want something that's reliably, that can, that can switch into Charizard Xs and the like. So one Pokemon that really uh, sprung to mind there was the Landorus. Because the Landorus also has the advantage that it it's, works well with Volcanion. Volcanion can switch into Ice Moves, so it's got really good type synergy, similar to that Scizor, where it can switch into those sorts of moves. It also gives me an Earthquake immunity as well. Another one, which means people are less likely to go for Earthquakes for on Volcanion and stuff like that. So that's really nice for us. I'm just going to go for that standard defensive set because it allows us to beat Megazard X. If we, uh, we just need to preserve our HP on this guy. So that's really, really nice. So we're going to go for the standard defensive set here. So that gives us a Stealth Rocker. It get, allows us a check to Mega Charizard X, which as I said is always very, very scary. And uh, just an all-round really nice physical wall for the team. It's a bit more, it's making the team more bulky offense. And um, I do really like that because we've got sort of good bulk with the Sizzle, reasonable bulk with the Volcanion. So it's not a particularly fast team, but it's designed just to be bulky and hit hard with a really nice wall-breaking Gardevoir. So I had to think about what other problems does this team present. And one huge problem that stood out from here is my huge weakness to... Um, Mega Manectric, because Mega Manectric outspeeds the entire team, HP Ice for Landris, HP Ice for Latias to an extent, I don't have the Roost on there, which is why I can't reliably keep switching in, the Scizor as well, take, just gets destroyed by a Flamethrower, Gardevoir can take one potentially, but I don't want to keep switching Gardevoir in just to take Volt Switches, like it's not a good thing at all, and obviously Volcanion gets destroyed by it as well, so I wanted something that was a really good answer to that, and another Pokemon that would allow me to produce a Volt Turn Core that would allow me to bring in Scizor, say for example, or even bring in Gardevoir to start doing some wall breaking as they switch out into a wall. So the Pokemon I decided to go for here was Reiku. Because Reiku, with an Assault Vest, allows me to take almost any hit from Mega Manectric. I can take Thunderbolts, I can take Volt Switches. I'm fast enough where I can always Volt Switch out afterwards if, um, they, if they go into something that gives me a bad matchup. So I can still get some chip damage on, which is nice. Flamethrowers and HP Ices won't be doing too much to me. So I can go for Thunderbolt, Volt Switch, um... Hidden Power Ice, because Hidden Power Ice is always very, very nice. Um, and then, finally, it, it's a toss-up between Extra Sensory and um, Shadow Ball. Personally, I think Shadow Ball fixed the team better, because we are a little bit weak to Ghost types, namely Gengar. So having something that outspeeds and can kill back with a Shadow Ball is really nice. Obviously, Extra Sensory um, does still allow us to hit Gengar hard, but Shadow Ball, I think... For other ghost types as well, I, yeah, I think Shadow Ball fits best for the team. We've already got a lot of psychic moves already, so it's good to have some uh, 
ghost coverage there, and that allows me to hit other um, other bulky psychic types hard as well, like the Latioses and Latiasses, without just having to resort to HP Ice. So uh, we can just put the last four IVs in there, uh, EVs in there, put zero IVs in there. That's looking good in terms of spread. I do not, I don't know why Smogon uh, like putting the max HP in there, and also I do disagree with this spread here. Personally, I always like to do 30 on here. Now this looks really weird. Because why on earth would you put 30 uh, IV, speed IVs into speed? Now this is because this means that if I'm against another Landris, what do you do? You always U-turn because Stealth, Stone Edge is not going to be doing much. There they're going to U-turn and get initiative on you if you just go for Stone Edge. So by getting 30 on there, that means I always get the slow U-turn off. Which is really, really nice because obviously U-turn does very, very little. So they basically U-turn, do a tiny bit of damage to you. But then you get your U-turn off guaranteed after them. And then you get all of that momentum from that turn. So I really, really like that. It's just a little sort of tip. Um, and then I think apart from that, I'm really happy with how the team's looking. As I said, in practice, it seems to be working pretty well. But uh, I'll be doing some more testing and see if there's any changes. So let me know what you think about the team. I will be heading up to uni on Wednesday. So there will be a live stream on Wednesday. So I hope you guys are hyped for that. I've got about two weeks at uni before I go on a field trip for about three weeks. So there'll be two weeks of really solid streams. I'm aiming for like four or five a week. So that's going to be really, really cool. And then after that, I've got basically all the time in the world. So there's going to be lots and lots of streams from there for another few weeks. So I hope you guys are excited for that. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and let me know how to improve the team. Any nicknames as well would be appreciated. So without further ado, hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys at the next one. McCaddy out.